Imagine being on a luxurious cruise ready to explore the open seas only to have it cut short by a stomach virus outbreak. The Royal Caribbean Explorer of the Seas faced just that, as over 600 passengers and crew members were affected by a norovirus outbreak. But what really happened on that fateful voyage? Join us as we uncover the mystery behind the outbreak, the investigation by the CDC, and the measures taken to ensure the safety of future passengers. Don't miss this gripping tale of a cruise ship's journey gone wrong. Norovirus Norovirus is a highly contagious virus that can be contracted through several means, including contact with an infected person, contaminated food or water, or by touching contaminated surfaces. The virus attacks the stomach and intestines, causing inflammation that results in symptoms such as stomach pain, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, and a general feeling of illness. These symptoms can last up to 48 hours and can be quite severe, making it important to take precautions to avoid contracting the virus. Norovirus is particularly prevalent in places where people are in close quarters, such as cruise ships, schools, and nursing homes. Outbreaks can occur quickly and spread rapidly, making it important for individuals and organizations to take immediate action to contain and prevent the spread of the virus. This can include isolating infected individuals, thoroughly cleaning and sanitizing infected areas, and providing information and guidance to those who may be at risk. Norovirus outbreak disrupts Royal Caribbean Explorer crews. The norovirus outbreak on the Royal Caribbean Explorer of the Seas cruise ship had a significant impact on the trip for both the passengers and crew. The highly contagious virus quickly spread among the nearly 3,050 passengers and 1,166 crew on board. As a result, over 600 individuals, 564 passengers and 47 crew, reported symptoms, including stomach pain, nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting. Officials of the Center for Disease Control and Prevention were notified of the situation and began investigating while the ship was sailing on its 10-day cruise to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Due to the outbreak, the ship was forced to return to New Jersey two days early, causing disappointment among passengers. The company offered refunds and compensation. Royal Caribbean Response In response to the outbreak, the Royal Caribbean Cruise Line and the crew aboard the ship took a number of actions such as increasing cleaning and disinfection procedures in line with their outbreak prevention and response plan, making announcements to notify passengers and encourage case reporting, collecting stool samples from ill passengers and crew for testing by the CDC, and making daily reports of gastrointestinal illness cases to the VSP. They also prepared additional crew members to join the ship mid-voyage to assist with case management and intensified sanitation procedures. The cruise line also consulted with the CDC on plans for passenger notification procedures, a delayed embarkation schedule in Bayonne, New Jersey on January 31, 2014, disembarkation plans for active cases, and terminal and transport infection control procedures. CDC team investigates. A team of experts from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's Vessel Sanitation Program, including one epidemiologist, one contract epidemiologist, and one environmental health officer, boarded the ship in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, and were traveling on board as it returned to port in New Jersey. The team was conducting an investigation into the outbreak, evaluating the environmental health conditions on board, and assessing the response efforts. An additional environmental health officer joined the team upon the ship's arrival on January 29, 2014, to assist in evaluating the disinfection process. The investigation will continue throughout the boarding of new passengers for the next voyage. Five clinical samples were sent to the CDC laboratory for testing on January 26, 2014. Cleaning and Sanitation Process Upon its return to port, the ship underwent a thorough cleaning and sanitation process to ensure that it was safe for future voyages. This included cleaning and disinfection of all common areas, cabins, and public spaces. All crew members were also required to undergo a health screening 
and any necessary medical treatment. During that time, the ship was closed to passengers and only essential personnel were allowed on board. While the ship was in port, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, conducted a health and sanitation inspection to ensure that all protocols were being followed and that the ship met their standards. After the inspection, the ship was cleared for its next voyage and was able to set sail with passengers once again. The process was designed to protect the health and safety of all passengers and crew members and to prevent the spread of any potential illnesses or diseases. Reminder of the importance of prevention. The incident of norovirus outbreak on a cruise ship serves as a stark reminder of the importance of taking necessary precautions to prevent the spread of contagious illnesses. This is particularly true in places where people are close to each other. In these environments, it's essential that all individuals take steps to protect themselves and others from infection, such as washing their hands frequently and avoiding close contact with sick individuals. Furthermore, the incident also highlights the crucial role that cruise lines play in monitoring the health of their passengers and crew, and in taking prompt action to contain and prevent the spread of viruses. This is not only beneficial for passengers, but also for the cruise line, as a quick and effective response can help to minimize negative impact on the company's reputation. It's also important to have emergency plans that have been already put in place to take action if a contagious illness outbreak happens with clear protocols for isolating, reporting, and communicating with public health officials and passengers. In short, the incident serves as a reminder of the importance of being proactive in preventing the spread of contagious illnesses and the importance of effective emergency response plans. It shows the crucial role that individuals, organizations, and public health officials play in preventing and containing the spread of a contagious illness. There you have it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. See you in the next video. Until then, take care and thanks for watching.